Hello, my name is Andy Smith. I work with RWDI's Supplemental Damping Group. Today I'm going to give a brief description of our opposed pendulum design. The most basic design of damper is the simple pendulum, where the frequency of the tune mass damper is controlled just by the length of the cable involved. Quite often buildings, though, have a different frequency in the x and y directions. To account for this, we add something called a bitunning frame. So the bitunning frame chokes out a length of cable in one axis, but not the other, thereby giving us two discrete frequencies. A simple pendulum may be the easiest to implement, but it has limitations with height. Generally, there's not going to be this much height available in the top of buildings, and given the value of penthouse properties, it is everybody's best interest to minimize that height requirement. We can do this by using the opposed pendulum design. Here we add a negative stiffness pendulum to the simple pendulum. When you combine the two, you get a long period arrangement. So by adding the blue mass to the top, we have now created the opposed pendulum. By linking our negative stiffness pendulum to our simple pendulum, we have created a long period arrangement. In this example, we have dropped our frequency in the long axis from 1.6 to 0.9 hertz and our bitunning is still working too, and it has dropped from 2.3 to 1.6 hertz. By adjusting the length of our columns, the length of cables participating, and the ratio of the mass top to bottom, we can create any long period frequency we require for a building. This presentation should further your understanding of the opposed pendulum design that our WDI uses. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.